on our next adventure to country number 18, the Netherlands. We're super excited and we're taking you along with us. I feel like these are higher. Are they higher on Dutch airplanes because they can reach higher? Easy flight, honestly. Kind of flew by. Get it? <laughs> Boy, this jet lag is going to get real. Two backpacks, two travelers. What? You go through that one. Yeah. I'm so tired, but I feel like I shouldn't be tired, but I also feel like I should be tired. Yeah, I think we need to find a person to help. So do we buy tickets on the train or? Yeah. Right here? Oh, okay. Yeah, two tickets. Look at the name of our hotel. Volksrandgebouw. Volksrandgebouw. Perfect. Not too bad, just two trains. Let's do it. Let me tell you, transportation is something you don't think about until you don't have good transportation. Yeah. And then it's like a luxury when you do. <laughs> it's here. <laughs> wow, the sun's rising. Metro passes, they have a windmill on it and a tulip. You gotta open them. <laughs> and here we are, Amsterdam. <laughs> Look at how many bicycles there are. Actually, you're in the bike lane, love. Be careful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we have to worry about bikes and cars. Amsterdam. This is not what I was expecting. It's way more like a capsule hotel than a, a hotel. Now this is Amsterdam. Look at all those like uneven houses. Like they're tilted. I'm pretty sure that's like kind of a staple Amsterdam thing, right? This bird. He's just chilling. Yeah, he's just chilling there. Is that a crane? I don't know. I don't want to scare it. You want some pancakes? Are you curious to feel and taste the ambiance? Uh -huh. Let's go taste the ambiance. That's This restaurant is a government preserved monument and it's where Henry Hudson sailed off to discover New York. Cafe de Schreierstorn. Schreierstorn. Dang, our Dutch is <laughs> not good. Yeah, the pronunciations are gonna need some work, we eh? We apologize. <laughs> we were just really hot, don't touch the plate. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank you so much. The two fried eggs. Yum. Let's try a Dutch pancake. It looks like a crepe. Yeah, it does. But just like not folded. <laughs> does it taste like a crepe? It's probably it's different. It's not as flaky. I feel like French people would be mad if we called this a crepe. <laughs> it's good though. It's really good. Really? Fluffy. Uh huh. Thank you, Thank you very Have much. Have a good day. And enjoy. Have a good day. Bye. Thirty-five fifty euro. I am filled some coffee. Let's go get some espresso or something. One awesome thing about Amsterdam is that any cafe you go to pretty much has a canal. Seated view. Yeah. 
Thank you. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Alrighty, day two, let's do it. <laughs> Plain. So we are in Waterloo Plain or Waterloo Square, which is right near the Amstel River. And there's a flea market that happens here six days a week. And it was actually named after the Battle of Waterloo. You what can was the Battle of Waterloo? I don't know. It was the battle that marked the end of the Napoleonic War. Oh. So Napoleon. That's crazy. There's just like piles of clothing and people just comb through it. Oh, I've never yeah. seen that before. It's like a garage sale. It really is. <sighs> Nothing like sitting and watching all the pretty water and all these different rivers and mm. canals. So apparently Amsterdam has more than 1,200 bridges all across the city for people to walk around and ride their bicycles on. That's pretty cool. Well, did you know that people actually live on some of those boats? There's houseboats. Really? Yeah, that's a thing in Amsterdam. I mean, like, look at these boats. They're huge. There's a tilted building. I wonder if they, like, roll out of bed or if, like, stuff's out of balance, you know? You know, that's a good question. I really don't know. <laughs> Flower shop. Amsterdam is like known for their tulips, so I'm not surprised. Oh, here's a bunch of little tulip things. It smells really good in here. Just saying. All right, let's get some food. Food. Oh, oh, okay. These bicyclists are nuts. Oh. Time to eat some stroopwafel and drink some coffee in Amsterdam. <laughs> really crunchy, sweet, a lot of sugar in it. I actually really like it. Kind of reminds me like a um, caramel cracker. It's very interesting. Is it dry? No, there's like a little bit of sauce in the middle. So it's not dry, but it's definitely crunchy. I drank all the coffee already, but it was really good, I promise. Consensus, Stroopwafel is really good. Yeah. Okay, Rika's super excited about the next spot because... We're going to the bench that they shot the Fault in Our Stars with. In that movie, I guess they take a trip to Amsterdam. Oh. Yep, yep, that's definitely it, guys. And yep, they're sitting right over there. That's crazy. All right, we made it. We made it. I'm in the exact spot that they shot it. <laughs> We're gonna do the exact picture right now. Classic. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> So now we're in the neighborhood Negenstraats, which is, I guess, named for the nine different straits, because there's just a ton of canals. And 
It has a bunch of different boutique cafes and just like really picturesque Dutch architecture. Super fun just to walk through here. It's a super lively city. There's a lot to explore. I feel like we only just brushed the surface, but fun city to walk around for sure. It really is. Yeah, and good, good Stroop waffles and Dutch pancakes. Yes. I think we're gonna have some more of those in the next vlog, which will be our Dutch food tour. So stay tuned for that and subscribe.